Okay. Okay, and I'm going to go to conversions. Yep. And then continue. Okay, so created methods. So this is new. Choose how, to, how you want your create conversion. Use the advantage. Okay, so advantage plus conversion con and control. Okay, just hit continue. I've, I've never seen that one before. Okay. Okay, cool. So, okay, so what do we do from here? So I Man, need- This is a whole nother layout. This is a whole new layout. Facebook, I don't know why they keep changing shit. It's very weird. Right. Like, dude, they already have like everything so perfect. Like, why keep changing shit? Right. But, um, okay. So, so I, need so an, I need a new ad. So I guess this is going to be- Sellers packet add to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could do that. And then you said um, to, well, I'll wait to add it, my stuff on there. Okay, so. Well, real quick, though, the title, this is the first tab, campaigns, right? The first step. So mm -hmm. in the title, you always want to put the, in parentheses, the objective that you're running. So it's conversions. Conversion. So in parentheses, yeah, conversions. Okay, cool. Okay. And then under website back up 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 go right back up yeah right there the categories so you always have to choose housing housing yes yes yeah. so always go housing okay, okay so I cool. got the housing um that can stay there that can okay yeah that can stay there we're not going to target the whole us but that's just for the privacy real okay. estate privacy or whatever it is yes yeah, gotcha. us okay, so website okay which website and then there's your pixel mm -hmm. conversion yes. event. I don't know what select an event. Yes. So click in the box. And what we're looking for is our custom conversion, which is seller guide leads. That's oh. how we created. Okay. So we're yeah. leads. So okay. remember the custom conversion is, is your thank you page link. Okay. Right? It it was, it's not, it's not active. No, it, it is. It's yeah. Just disregard. You can X that one out. Okay. It, yeah, it's fine. If it wasn't, if it, yeah, it might, it might not be active because no one has landed on it in, in the okay. past few days, but it's there. So that's why, and, and it's there because we know it's, it's there in the drop down. It's seller guide leads. It's right there. So it's okay, you said to do a daily budget lifetime lifetime. Okay. Yeah. So just go lifetime and then just put in that budget and then just change out the calendar. Okay, and the calendar will start uh, tomorrow yes. at 6 a.m., right, or 4? Go 4. Yeah, that way it's 6 your time. Okay, 4 a.m. Pacific and ends, um, okay, so February 9th, um, one, two, like the 23rd. Yes, go from the night. Yeah, go the night to the 23rd. Perfect. You're still at 4 a.m., right? Mm-hmm. O'clock a.m. Perfect. And then I'm going to custom audiences. Yeah, see, so now, now that we're on, what is this, ad number two or whatever, let's see, click inside custom audiences. Let's see what we got in there. So from this point on, what we want to do is we want to for sure start adding or including, I should say, these custom audiences. So um, seller guide leads, no seller guide landing page visitors only. Yes. Always retarget the landing page visitors only. Um, you're always going to retarget that. Yeah, this the size of your website may decrease because they may not include some people. Yeah, that's fine. So you'll always include web page visitors in all your ads from this point on. These are people who saw your ad before, a previous ad. They clicked. They came over to your, over to your landing page, but for whatever reason, they didn't opt in. That's a person to retarget. So that's web page visitors only. Always retarget that audience from this from this um, point on. So, is there going to be any more visitors besides just those visitors? Or? Yeah, as 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 we run this ad, yeah, then there'll be more people that end up in that audience to okay. use for the next ad. But it's always that bucket that you're filling up. It's always that bucket that you're retargeting, and then also on your next ad and on, you'll always want to retarget the custom audiences of people who watch your video. So right. was there not, you put out a video before, wasn't there the last ad a video or, or, or no, the last ad was an image, right? This is your first video. Yes. Ad. yes. Okay, cool. Okay. So, so what we're going to do, once we set this up, we're going to go and set up a custom audience of this video. Okay. 
right? And then when you go run your next ad, you're retargeting everyone who watched this one and you're retargeting the web page visitors only. Does that kind of make sense? Yes. Yes. Riley, Texas. And then when it comes to the targeting, stick with one location. So if, if Wiley 50 miles is the, the, the location, okay, well then that's the location for every ad from this point on, right? Like don't do the next ad and you're targeting Dallas, Fort Worth, 20 miles, right? If it's Wiley 45, that's what you're going with okay. for, for every ad. So, so what I would do is at the very, very top, whatever you change it to 50, whatever, Wiley, Dallas, whatever, whatever you have there, go back up to the very top and include that in the title. So now we're on ad set number, we're, now we're on the ad set level, tab number two. And you know what, to tell you the truth, this is, scroll down, this is, you're, you're in the first. Yeah, this is definitely a different layout because it's showing, keep going, keep going, keep going. Like go, 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 lower, lower, lower. Oh, very interesting. See, everything is on this one page. It's no longer step one, the, the, the campaign, which is, which is conversions, and then the special ad category is housing. That's step one alone. And then step two is the target, the budget, the calendar. Um, and then step three is the, the ad, which you see at the very, very bottom. This new layout is showing everything on this one. See, this normally is step three. This part right here, we click hmm. publish and we go to step three. It's the, it's this part, the okay. identity, but now it's all on one page. Very interesting. I, I never, yeah, this is the first time I'm seeing this layout. Okay. So then shit. Um, um, yeah, you just, or change, enter your website URL for your yeah, app. So scroll down. So detailed targeting. Let's, let's, yeah. So there goes your link, go back up. So languages and then the, the detailed targeting. You can leave that and then scroll. Actually, you know what? Here in the detail targeting, let's put a couple keywords. Let's put a couple keywords. Let's put, um, let's put, what were those ones? I had some, I had a couple keywords. Let me see if I can, actually, yeah. Okay, so type in home improvement home improvement and, and we're always going with the drop down always wait to see the drop down okay perfect home improvement and then we're going to also so click out of that click out of that little box there okay so now and then narrow audience so we're going home improvement and then narrow audience and then put in type in renovation right here yeah renovation so this is really, really narrowing in the, the audience, which, which will, will test this out for sure. Um, so perfect. Okay, cool. So languages, you can leave that as is. And then, and then your landing page. So go ahead, go ahead and scroll down. We're going, um, we're going add setup. Okay, so where is that single image or video? Yeah, go ahead and scroll down. Um, Yeah, this, okay, so media, go ahead, and, go ahead and scroll up. We're looking for right here. So add setup, add setup, click on, go ahead and click on that, even though it's already blue, but click on it again, just single image or video. So select the media text, so add creative. Where's the button for use existing post? Like this is, this is new. Click on carousel. Do Actually, I have to right here, media? Yeah, go ahead and try that. Click on select videos. Oh, it's not videos, it's a post. Yeah, I know, it's a post. So, okay, okay, perfect. So that's how you do it now. Okay. Okay, so yeah, wow, what a, yeah, they're changing shit. So here's my question before we move forward, because I, I always have to ask my husband, but he's at work right now, so mm -hmm. I'll ask you. So on here, mm -hmm. um, I put, um, mm, be prepared to sell. I always get confused whether it's S-E-L-L -L or S-A-L-E. Yeah. No, 
Oh, no, no, it's S E L L E R. Okay. Yeah, Sellers. Uh, uh, for some reason, I just can never get that. So I just wanted to make sure that because yes. I noticed I had a typo before um, on my last ad. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Okay. Yes, and, and the way you can remember that, well, at least the way I, because shit, to tell you the truth, that would confuse me forever as well. Like I, I'm, I'm just like that. But for sell is, 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 is a product for sell. So a house is for sell, but the person selling it, that's the seller. Okay. Right. So, so, so it's a seller's packet. It's for the actual seller, right? It's a seller's packet. So it's always S E L L E R S. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yes. that's kind of how I break, break it down. Um, Perfect. So you're good here. You're well, good. Do I have to do anything here? Um, scroll down. It just says uh, the URL isn't there, but it actually is. Scroll down. Yeah, it's right there at the top. So do I need to add edit or something? Or I'm going to click it just to see what it says. Okay, website URL. Okay, there you go. Yeah, put it right there. Okay, let me copy it. Do I have to hit approve or anything or? By approving, you confirm that you have legal rights to you. Yeah, go ahead and approve it. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. But what I'm. Okay. What I'm confused on is the fact that that's not the same post. There's no, my verbiage isn't there. Yeah, that's not. So I'm not adding my text. Hold on, let me go back up and see. See all pre see all preset settings, special housing. Yeah, all that is good. Scroll down. Audience um, definition is unavailable. Estimated results. This is existing. Yeah, you're good there. You're good there. Um, languages. Click on show more options right there. Uh, show more options. Um, See, it says select images, but I don't want this. I wanted. Yeah, we need that, that one from the page. Primary text, no. Call the action. Well, that's going to be a learn more. Yeah, that's going to be learn more, but for whatever reason that post is not the same one um so it'd be right here it would be so yeah see so you selected the video go back go back up real quick and and Right where the video is at, just click on edit video next to the video. Edit, yeah, edit video. Um, okay, so not that. So hit cancel. Let's just go back to um captions. No, just hit just hit cancel. Yeah, cancel the bottom. Just click on um, yeah, click on select videos again. And then just go to your yeah, go to your page. And that's the right Facebook page, right? That's the right mm -hmm. one. Hey, um, okay, so let's let's search media. Let's see if you can. So X out of that video. So get rid of that one to the right. There's a little X next to edit video. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of that one. Single image optimize. Okay, so your single image. Select media in the add creative section. Okay, so. Let's do select videos again. Select videos. And then go ahead and go ahead and yeah, go to go to video URL. Go to video URL. And let's just try to pull it this way quickly. Quickly upload a video, paste the link. Okay, so just grab, grab go to your Facebook page. Yeah, and then um click on your video. Just go ahead and I don't think it's I don't think it's right there. Okay. But, Try that, but but normally it's it's you clicking on the video and getting that link, but go ahead and try that link. Try that one. Go back over there and paste it. Paste in the video URL. Damn, this is new. This is this is definitely different. So hopefully this is this is it. But normally you see it there in the drop down. So I don't know why. 
We're not seeing it there. Okay, so I don't know what's happening. So I guess it still is trying to pull it, pull it. You have your three tabs, campaigns, ad sets, ads. So click on ads and then over here on the underneath the title, go ahead and um, click on edit. Yeah, right there, click on edit. And then over here, scroll down, see how everything shows on one page, which it never used to do that. So this is new. So scroll down, scroll down. It's gonna be at the very, very your bottom. Custom, this one keeps saying your custom conversion isn't. Yeah, but that's fine. It's fine. It's it's act, it's there. It's just not active because no one has landed on it yet. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, all the way to the very, very bottom. So right here, share to the right, hit the drop down, share, and then scroll down Facebook desktop newsfeed at the very bottom. Right here? Yes. And there it is there. Okay, so it's there. Yes, okay. so you're good. Okay, perfect. You're good. You're good. Awesome. So, so all you'll, you'll work on the like ad for me. Yes. So I got the I got the like ad covered. I'll just I'll just add another hundred on the budget, and we'll and and that should take us way past our number. Yes. So let this one run, and then let's chat in the next in the next week or so to to review that. To okay. Review that. That sounds good. And cool. then um, yeah, we'll go from there. Thank you so awesome, much, Heather. You're so so welcome. Talk to you soon. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.